Okay, so we finally arrived at part four of the entire playlist of installing uh, macOS, Linux, and Windows 11 on my machine. And in this part four, we're gonna install macOS Big Sur. And as you may know, I have a Mac Pro, a classic Mac Pro from 2012, and this machine is not supported by um, Apple anymore with the latest macOS. So the only option that I have is that I have to use open core legacy patcher to, to install Mac OS picture. We are in high Sierra right now. This is a vanilla high Sierra. So let's go ahead and open this utility and format the NVMe SSD that I have. It's off one terabytes. So go ahead and click erase. So I name it as Mac OS. Format is Mac OS extended. Partition is GUID partition map and hit erase. All right, do not use this as a time machine backup and hit done. And that's basically it. So we got one terabyte NVMe SSD formatted as Max OS extended. All right, now let's go ahead and reboot the machine and hit that restart button. Make sure you press and hold option key and this boot menu is show up. So do not click the install macOS picture, but you want to go the one with the open core logo. And that's exactly when you start the install macOS picture from. All right, so we choose install macOS Big Sur and hit continue. And hit continue again. And you must agree to the term and condition. 12 minutes remaining. So your machine is going to reboot for several times. And this is the first reboot. You do not need to press and hold the option key because the open core is going to take it over from here. And there you go. And the Mac OS, are, uh, the Mac OS installer is going to launch by itself. So this installation is going to take some time. So your machine is going to reboot for several times as well. So feel free to skip and fast forward the video and I'll be right back. All right, now we see the first installation screen. And it is very laggy due to the AT Radeon uh, 5770 uh, that requires patches. So I select my country as United States, hit continue. And hit continue again. Uh, not now. Not gonna do any Wi Fi connection, so hit continue. Yes, I'm sure, so I hit continue again. Hit continue as well in here. I do not want to migrate anything, so I click now. 
I do want to set up this later. Yes, skip this please. Now you have to agree to the terms and condition. So hit agree. Put a full name. I'm gonna put Mac OS. Same for account name and the password. All right. So hit continue. This cursor is really laggy, but we're gonna fix this later. You can see that when I hit uh, continue, it takes like you know a few seconds later until it becomes you know responsive. All right, let's go with the Express setup. Just hit continue. Analytic. Just hit continue. I'm gonna set this up later. I don't really need to have Siri, so I just uncheck that box and hit continue. All right, so I prefer to have a dark. Oh, look at that. This is really, really laggy. I don't know how many, uh, there you go. It, <laughs> it takes some, you know, few seconds to get from the light to dark. All right. Okay, and there we have it. And this is the issue now with the lagness of AT Radeon 5770. You can see here that the dog is not even there any. I don't know how long it's gonna take till the dock shows up. We'll see. So again, feel free to skip and fast forward the video. I'm pretty sure it's gonna take, I don't know, about a couple of minutes until it shows up. Finally, that's the dock. All right, so let's go ahead and install the open core legacy patcher on this machine. So unzip this. And I'm gonna drag it into the application. And let's go ahead and Fire it is up. Hit open. Okay, so what you want to do is you want to build and install open core. Install to disk. So I wanted to remind you again that make sure you install open core on the right disk because I'm not responsible if you choose the wrong one. In my case, I choose um, my NVMe SSD uh, disk. All right, so it's installing open core. Just give it some minutes. Okay, and let's reboot the machine. There you go. All right, so I'm gonna remove the USB drive. And during this machine reboot, make sure you press and hold option on the keyboard. And don't start Mac OS from any of those disks. You just want to go with the one with the open core logo. 
So hit the one with the open code logo, and that's where you want to enter your Mac OS. So next thing you want to do is actually installing the patches. Both patches for uh, the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth, and the AT Radeon HD5770. So let's go ahead and open uh, Open Core Legacy Patcher. So what you want to do is post install and start root patching. Provide with the password and hit OK. I'm just going to relaunch it as uh, root. And you start doing the patching for the AMD AT Radeon HD5770 and also the Wi Fi. So, after these patches are done, basically uh, you're going to reboot the machine and everything's going to look perfectly fine. No more lagging on. Uh, the graphics all right let's see put the machine there you have it Everything looks fine. Docs looks really good. So meaning that the graphic acceleration has been patched successfully. And that's it. So installing the latest Mac OS on unsupported Apple machine with the help of Open Core Legacy Patcher is very easy to do. I believe you can do that as well on your machines. In the next video or part 5, I'm going to show you how to add Linux on the existing macOS installations. And subsequently in part 6, I'm going to add Windows 11 as well. I hope you enjoy watching the video. Please subscribe and like. If you have any comment, please write it down in the comment section down below. And see you in the next one.